Hello, I'm Jennifer, and in this video, I'm going to show you two different ways to accessorize a console table, so stay tuned. So I, in my store today, it's really sad because of quarantine and our doors are shut. We're still working, just a few of us, but I thought this would be a really good opportunity while nobody's in here to show you how to accessorize a console table. So most people do really, really well picking larger items, but it's how do I accessorize? What do I put on the wall? So I have pulled a few of my favorite things together to show you. I'm gonna show you two different styles and um, you can find it online at our store at JD's All About Home. So let's start with this vignette number one. First of all, I'm gonna start with a console because that's the piece I would pick first. This is one of our favorites. I love it because it's a natural wood. I think one of my favorite things is the designs underneath the table, the arched look. It's just very different and very unique. Another thing about this console is it isn't too wide. So wherever you're placing it, it's not gonna come out from the wall. Now let's talk about the next thing I would pick. After I pick a console, I'm gonna pick my artwork. For this one, I picked a beautiful linen sign. It says, do not grow weary of doing good. At the proper time, we will reap harvest if we do not give up, Galatians 6, 9. Love this, perfect size. Next, I would choose a lamp. And so for this one, this is one of my favorites. It's a new one we have in the store. What's really cool about it uh, is the shade is metal and the patina on it and design is gorgeous. I like a lamp to kind of offset the table. So what I mean by that is if I've got a wood console, I usually don't pick the same color wood in the lamp. So this one's white, so it offsets and looks beautiful. Next. I like to do things in threes, and what I mean by that is I usually have a lamp, something over here a little bit taller, and something in the middle. So for what I've got in the middle, I've got these beautiful trays. The patina on them are beautiful. It's a brass with a little bit of a green in it, and I just placed some orbs on top. These trays actually, they come in a set of three in different sizes, but what's kind of cool about that is the tray's a perfect size to put um, behind the toilet where you could put some toiletries on a coffee table or on your vanity in your bathroom, or you can give one as a gift. Next, I put the set of jugs Again, just a really pretty subtle color. I like blue with a little bit, kind of like a slate blue. This is perfect and pairs everything together. Now, another thing I wish I didn't have to deal with was cords. We always have to deal with those. One of the things with this console, because it's not a solid console, you're gonna see your cords. So what I like to do, an idea, a perfect one, is to put a basket under there. You can put a blanket in there. You could put birch logs, whatever your style is. These come in a set of two. The other one is smaller, which would be perfect to go in a living room, kind of beside your chair, maybe to put your magazines in or to add more blankets. For the next vignette, we have a little bit of a feminine look. First of all, I've got the same console I had before, but I gotta show you this artwork that is absolutely stunning. It has a barn wood frame, which kind of makes it not too um, extravagant, but yet it plays off of the roses beautifully. So on a lamp, I put a mercury glass lamp, and again, we've got a lamp that contrasts with the console itself. On this side, I put together a floral. Now you guys always ask me where I get my florals, so this is the first time I'm gonna have actual floral stems on our website. These hydrangeas, guys, they're stunning. Um, when I put together florals, one of the first things I do is I snip off the leaves because usually the leaves look so fake where the floral might look a little bit better. 
In this case, the leaves are as realistic as the hydrangeas themselves. I put them in a little bit of a masculine container with the copper around it, and then set two beautiful little concrete birds beside it, and that was all this entire vignette needed. You know how I love art. Um, this is one of my favorite artists. I actually have two other pieces um, online. One is of a beautiful white barn. And then we have another one with these beautiful white roses with a very deep blue background. I want to tell you one other thing. So the background behind me is a brick wall, but guess what guys? It is paneling. This is paneling from the home improvement store. I figured out a technique um, that makes it look like old brick and I have a video, I'll link it above. Um, it's a super easy project. If you like getting your hands dirty, it'll be a lot of fun. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell. It's gonna tell you when I have a new video out and everybody be safe and be happy.